This video is all about coming up with story ideas when you have no idea where to start. So you want to write a movie. Well, how do you start? Like, what do you do exactly to be able to get that process started? What I have found is sometimes if I'm just sitting in a room staring at a blank wall, it's really hard for me to actually visualize a story, especially at the concept phase. For me, what I found is actually taking a pencil and a notepad and sitting down and writing, literally writing my thoughts out helps me to generate a story that would otherwise never exist. It's like a, it's like a manifestation of your thoughts. What was once maybe an ethereal thought in the back of your mind now becomes a tangible thing on a piece of paper that you can look at. That process of actually physically writing out your thoughts, it's like you're having a conversation with your brain. And by doing that, it helps you process. It's like magic. It just feels good. It's like you put in the work, you've tried, you've gotten some more clay on the table. Yeah, and even if it's garbage, it doesn't matter because you know you can come back the next day. Writing is the cheapest part of filmmaking, and it's the most fun because this is where you get to actually make the movie perfect. Uh, there's no compromises. You can make whatever you want to make as long as you can imagine it and you can write it down. And by actually physically writing on paper, um, I find that that really helps me imagine things because I'm just distracted enough to be able to not be in my own head and to be able to get those thoughts out. So how long should you write for when you sit down? My advice is to write for five minutes a day. Commit to yourself no matter what, I'm going to write for five minutes today and tomorrow and the next day and to consistently work on one project. It's alluring to when you get about halfway into a project to start working on something else because those ideas seem fresh and you start to doubt yourself but you just have to push through that muddy middle and get to the end, then rewrite it again and again and again until it's good. That's the whole idea, the axiom that there is no such thing as a bad movie. There's no such thing as a bad book. There is only underdeveloped books and underdeveloped movies. So keep showing up. And if, if you keep showing up, it becomes a habit and that habit can then grow into something great, you know? And just dedicate five minutes a day to writing and see what happens. Watching other stories and reading other uh, books in the genre that you're writing in can be a huge influence. Uh, so one time I was working on a story about a person who was having these visions and my friend recommended that I watched uh, Jacob's Ladder. So I watched that and it helped me figure out a story problem I was having because I was like, oh, that's how they did that. And um, in my script, I did something totally different, but just, just by being able to see how these other writers worked out that problem, it helped me overcome that. Watch a handful of movies in the genre you're writing in, and, uh, and, and that helps too, because then you get to understand sort of the genre conventions, and genre conventions are good. They are your friends, like Robert McKee says in his book, Story. That's a great book on screenwriting, and he talks about genre convention being uh, something that maybe writers look at as, as like a hindrance, but, but really they're guideposts, and they're your friends, and they help you write your story and they're of course meant to be bent and broken at times but and he, he gives this awesome example in his book where he talks about imagine you walked into a film and it the the posters for it and the trailer for it made it look like it was a sci-fi film uh, but when you went to go see it it was a rom-com and so it might have even been a good romantic comedy but just because it wasn't what you were expecting you might not like it as much. So, uh, interesting thought. I, I know that's debatable, but like, I just, I think writing within uh, confines is so helpful. The last method for coming up with story ideas is research. So I had this idea for a sci-fi film and it involved like some like newer technology, but I wasn't, uh, I mean, I just had read about it in popular science and I hadn't, I hadn't gone further than that. So I actually talked to a microbiologist about my idea and she said what I was thinking of was not only plausible, it was probable, which was helpful. Uh, and then I got uh, like a book that someone had written on that topic from the library. Yeah, and it was cool because as I talked to uh, professionals in that field, read books about it, read articles online, it helped me realize other things I wouldn't have realized and just sparked creativity in ways that I could not have imagined, which is the whole point, right? And so, um, so definitely research, definitely watch movies, read books, uh, sit down, physically write as you're thinking. That will help you get your ideas out so you can write your story well.
Hey, my name is Seth Deming, and this is my YouTube channel, Write, Film, Edit. And if you like it, please subscribe. We talk about writing, filmmaking, editing, all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you want more, please subscribe and check out my other videos.